The Government Statistics Bureau announced that third quarter GDP growth sank to negative 1.01 percent, the lowest GDP growth figure seen since the global financial crisis in 2009. In addition to a sluggish export performance, domestic consumption fell short of expectations. This led the government to release a series of measures to boost consumption, including subsidies for energy-efficient home appliances, domestic travel and upgrades from 2G to 4G cell phones. The measures were announced by Premier Mao Zhuguo, who was surrounded by top officials at a press conference. The economy continues to decline, and we have noted that domestic consumption needs new stimulus measures. To rescue the domestic economy, ministries have worked together to come up with four main plans. Subsidies for energy efficient home appliances of up to NT2000 per person. Subsidies of NT2000 for cell phone users to upgrade from 2G to 4G cell phones and a monthly subsidy of NT200 for higher phone bills. Subsidies for accommodation and transport for domestic travel. However, many are asking how these new plans compare with offering cash coupons to boost consumption, as was done during the global financial crisis. With the cash consumption coupons, we spent over 80 billion NT. However, this tended not to generate much new consumption. People just took the money to buy things that they would routinely buy anyways, and the same consumption took place. So the coupons effect wasn't that great. This time, the Cabinet is planning to spend 4.08 billion NT, which is estimated to add 1.52 billion NT to Taiwan's GDP, increasing it by 0.1 per cent.